All right, I'm going to show you how, <clears throat> excuse me, how to use uh, Google Classroom on a phone. Again, I think the biggest problem is that um, people haven't downloaded uh, Google Docs. All right, so I'm going to show you what to do. Um, I've already downloaded Google Docs on my phone. Um, so if you haven't done that, go to your App Store or Google Play and just download that, um, that app. It's free. Okay. Now, as I was going through this on my phone, it did get a little complicated, um, so bear with me. But um, oh, and I'm using an iPhone, so if you have a, an Android, um, it should be similar, but probably a little different. Okay, so I'm on Dylan's student account, and I'm going to the reading class. And um, sorry, it's hard to see in the in the light here there we go um, here are the assignments and I'm going to click on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory now it comes up and it shows oh here we go let me move this to the side it shows down here your your work and if you click down here it brings it up in a document so I'm going to click on that document now in order to type on here I have to click the little pencil. Now, you can write directly on the document with one of these pens down here, but you can also type. Um, and when you do that, and then you click by the question, it gives you a little box to type your answer in. Okay? Then when you're all done with that, Go back out of it until you get to this screen and click turn in. Again, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to turn it in? And just click yes. Okay, that'll send it directly to me and it'll let you know it is sent. Hopefully this will help some of you. Um, if you have any other questions, please let me know. But again, I think if you download the Google Docs app um, onto your tablet, or your phone, it'll stop turning into PDFs and looking weird when I get it back and um, hopefully that'll save us all some headaches.